Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the select jQuery event handler, and we're going to be creating a text area which allows us to type and select text. Once we've selected text, jQuery is going to catch this event and it's going to alert something back to us inside of a div. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create the text area, then we're going to create our external JavaScript file that's going to handle this event. Okay, so I'm creating a text um, with a type of uh, an input field with a type of text, and I need to give this an ID so we can reference it in jQuery. I'm just going to call this sum underscore text. I'm then going to create a span with an ID as well, and this is going to uh, have the value of sum underscore feedback. Now, once we type some text into the text area and then highlight it like so some text, some feedback is going to produce some text for us. So we're using a span to feedback some text. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our external JavaScript file. I'm just going to create a new document in my text editor and inside my JS folder I'm going to call this select.js. So we need to include select.js into our page so I can simply go ahead and copy this here and paste it here and then just change this to select.js. Now that we've included select.js, we can start to write our code. Beforehand, let's just preview this in our browser. You can see that we just have a simple text field. We can type something in here, and then we can go ahead and select something. And once we have finished our selection, we'll have the span just give us some text out here, letting us know that we've selected the text. Now, first of all, the reason you might uh, incorporate this method into a text area for an, for an example, if you are allowing your user to type some text and then they want you want to uh, be notified or notify the user or some back-end functionality when they've selected text. For example, changing font color if you're using uh, if you're creating some kind of text editor. There's a variety of options for this select event handler, and I'll leave that up to you to implement into your own website. Okay, so in select.js, we need to reference our text area, which is hash text or sum text. We then need to append on the event handler, which is select. And inside these parentheses, we need to create a function. And that function is obviously going to have a block, which we will start to execute code here. So once we've actually selected something inside of sum text, which is our text field here, then we will be able to uh, create, you know, some something here that lets the user know that they've selected text. So obviously this is just an example. Okay, so we're going to reference some feedback, which is our span, and we're going to apply some HTML to this span using the HTML jQuery function. So inside of here, we can just type something has been selected. So let's return to our browser and refresh the page. And let's go ahead and type something in here. When we start to select something and then release, you can see that something has been selected. So we've created the event handler and successfully relayed some information to the user. However, I did speak about uh, some uses for this functionality. If you'd like to create some kind of functionality to actually grab the text that has been currently selected, you can do this. So head over to Google and uh, Google around for this and you'll be able to find a, uh, a function that let you return the, th the text that's currently selected in the text box. However, I'm not going to cover this in this tutorial because this has just been how to actually uh, use the event handler to check if something has been selected.